Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally out now. The brand new Pokemon card set that everyone wants to get their hands on. None other than the one, the only, Pokemon Sword and Shield Battle Styles. Now this set right here is absolutely awesome because it features none other than a brand new Pokemon. The Kung Fu Master himself. It's Urshifu. This right here I think is Single Strike Urshifu. And then on the top you've got Rapid Strike Urshifu. This guy comes as an alternate art that is currently worth around $250 to $300 as a raw card. Then you've got, I know, Tyranitar. Not only as a single card, but as an alternate artwork as well. On the back, choose your battle style wisely. Well, I think we all know what Ando's battle style is. Oh, oh that's it, that's it. It's gone. I've broken my leg. It literally popped out of its socket. Seriously, my leg like, actually still hurts from doing that kick. And then we've got Empoleon right there on the other side. So this is actually pretty cool. A lot of really sick uh, artwork going around on this booster box. I'm just so excited. Like, I know Vivid Voltage was like not technically ages ago. And we did get Shining Fates and all that. But it just feels good to have another main set release. And just be opening up something else that's not searching for like the world's biggest, fattest Pikachu. So let's open up this. I'm really, really pumped up and have a look at the set itself. I haven't done a crazy amount of research, but I have seen a couple people point out different price cards and ones we should be chasing. So I think today we're gonna go for that Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, um, but I'll take any sort of Urshifu and we'll also go for maybe a Golden Houndoom card because Golden Houndoom's in the set and Tyranitar. That would be pretty cool. If we can get a Tyranitar, I'd be a happy boy, but Let's do it. Let's open up our first ever booster box of Battle Styles. And this right here, it's going to... Oh, look at that. I've got... I don't know why, but the Pokeballs that are on the wrapper, it leaks. Like the... I don't know what it is, but in the... It must be in the airplane or something. It all comes off. It's like powder. Anyway, so this right here is our first ever Battle Styles booster pack I've ever opened in my entire life. This is always a big moment I tell everybody, you've got to take note, because you'll never get to open up your first booster of a set ever again. Once you've done it, you've done it. So let's have a look. What are we going to get today? We've got a Psychic type energy, then a Durant. All a oh, look at this. It's all new Pokemon cards, guys. Honchuro, not too bad. Got a Blip Bug as well. Got the Roly Coley, Chimeco. Then we've got a gorgeous looking Onyx, not too shabby. Sizzly P, then he looks really sus, I don't know why. Claymation style, reverse core fish, which isn't too shabby. And a Salazzle as the regular rare. Oh no, hopefully that's not summing up our luck. Hopefully it's like gonna massage us into it. And it looks like for some reason the codes are back. I thought we fixed it. Honestly, with Shining Fates, they were doing so well. Every single like booster pack had a white and green. Oh yeah, this energy right here with the two golden blue balls. Get that in a gold card, and fellas, we're talking good stuff. It looks fantastic. Got a Phoebe. A lot of cool, like, gold cards. Hopefully, I'll get an ETB in very soon, and we'll be able to have a look at the checklist. We've got a Mankey. Got a Sizzly Pede. Got a Mean Shell. That's not too bad. When's the last time you saw him in a Pokemon card set? And a Marowak hand-drawn artwork. Guys, I'm, I'm a big sucker for just, like, I think the first time I ever see a set. I love the hand-drawn artwork. I love, like... I don't know, all the random like holo cards and all that. It's probably the only time I really love uh, staring at the regular rares on my first couple of boosters. Got a Gliscor, Bruno, Mean Fu, then a Silicobra, Mankey. Artwork is awesome. Very karate based set. Galarian Slowpoke. Galarian Slowbro, that's pretty cool. Look, it's just literally caught on his hand right there. And a Clay Doll as the regular rare. No way we're starting this off with three regular rares. Come on, unlisted leaf lock. Where is it? Arceus better come down. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The code cards are back. It's confirmed, unfortunately. Um, but this set is technically out. So if you guys want to cash the codes in, only take one code at a time. Please leave some for little Timmy, all right? He hasn't woken up yet. He hasn't watched the unlisted leaf video. Um, but if you have got the bell notification on, shout out to you. You do get first dibs at the code cards. Gonna cack me up. Oh, here we go. This could be something. Single strike energy reverse. And then full art, Tyranitar! No way! Come on! That is amazing! Oh my goodness! That's our first flipping pull of the set! Is a full art! Oh! It's all downhill from here. I don't know what to tell you. 
It is all downhill from here. Oh, that's so good looking. I'm, that's no exaggeration at all. Single stripe logo up the top. It's a full art Tyranitar V card. Perfectly cut as well. Dude, that is awesome. I am a huge Tyranitar fan. I reckon when I was growing up, it was always in my top 10. And then seeing him as a really cool CGI'd full art is awesome. Look at these attacks as well. As if that's my first ball. <laughs> I don't want to open any more packs because I know it's kind of downhill from here, guys. But that is just amazing. You know how hard that would be to get as well? Like a full art Tyranitar card? So to get that in our first ever opening is kind of like, that's awesome. So, alright, so we get our full art, no way, another white and green, that's awesome. Um, full art Tyranitar. Now I guess we work out what the ratio of a booster box is. Being a brand new set, I guess the ratio hasn't been properly worked out, so it's always handy to open up a box and kind of work out, do you get like maybe two full arts, maybe one secret rare and something else per box? Oh, it's an Urshifu! This time it's the Single Strike one. Unfortunately, Single Strike doesn't appear to be as popular as the Rapid Strike version of Urshifu. Like, you know, there's two different Urshifu, so people like to pick and choose either the blue or the red. I mean, for me, I view Urshifu as just a brand new Pokemon, and it's a brand new set, so I want to collect them all, but you want to get the Rapid Strike one, I think. But it's up to you. Let me know in the comments, are you a Single Strike fan, or maybe you're a Rapid Strike fan? This is just sick, though. How is this for like a selection though? Tyranitar and Urshifu are our only hits so far. Laser focus and impact blow as the attacks. Alright, let's put you at the back right there. And then, you know what? Let's do a Tyranitar artwork. Seems fitting right now. Back to the solid green. Now my next question, um, is there amazing rares in the set? Because even though we're getting that solid green, I want to know if there's a card that I can pull um, just off of that solid green code card. Spiro, because in Vivid Voltage, even though you get a solid green, it wasn't the end of the world. Stone Journa, I do love that there is a logo there. Like, that does give me a bit of hope. Like, if I was only buying this pack and I only got that, I'd be like, oh well, I've got a logo card. Let me know what you think of that. Single Strike logo, let's swing it around. There's the code card. Hopefully you're getting that alternate artwork, Rapid Strike Urshifu, or even the alternate artwork, Tyranitar. Or even just the full light run, it's other we got, because that was sick. Electabuzz looking so awesome! Ever since I pulled Electabuzz out of that Logan Paul opening, low-key been like looking out to collect a lot more uh, like Electabuzz cards. Uh Lorantis, what are you doing? I swear I thought it like just saw something right at the back there, but looks like it must have been the Cubone reverse or something. There's the white and green. Let's go forth in the back, swing it around. We got a water type energy, not too shabby, per ugly. Then a Tower of Darkness, Gerda from Mantis. Got the Spiro, Zubat, Cubone, Frillish. Got the Spiupa. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Hollow Cherum. There we go. So Hollows are making a return. Looks like it's the classic lined ones at the back. No solid uh, Hollow Spree at the back, I guess. Spring Bloom and Seed Bomb are the attacks. Not too shabby. I'm really happy. I'm really, really, like, excited by this. I think just because it's a new set, but also the pulls we got so far, fantastic. A holo, a V, and a full lot card. Looking really nice. Okay, so we got a darkness type right there. Water tower. Karina's uh, focus. Cubone looking really cute. Tepig. Wow. Sounded like a battle or something. Just right in the middle. Hone Edge. Electabuzz again. Cacnea Reverse. And a Galarian Slowbro. Maybe you're collecting a lot of the slow... You, it's weird to say, but there's actually a bit of a fandom around Slowpoke, Slowbro. Um, there's a fandom around Psyduck. A lot of the slow Pokemon have a lot of fans. Okay, let's go four again. <laughs> Look at this, guys, guys. We're like halfway through the box already. I'm flying through, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm not really paying attention. Okay, we're going to clean this up too. We've got a Grumpig. Got a scroll, got a hound door as well, Lickitung, Horsey, Mangy, ready to throw down, Mawile, Scatterbug, and a Mr. Rhyme. Alright, let me just clear this up really quick, and we'll keep going with the opening. Now guys, I do suspect that we are going to get a lot more hits coming up, like we've only got three hits so far, and we've opened a boatload of boosters. So maybe around the middle, ah, oh, you know what, I take that back, it's another solid green. Maybe it's around the end, like if we start plucking them from the back of the booster box, we might start to get a few more hits, but 
Very interesting, we've only got three so far. Maybe it's quality over quantity. That's the uh, method they- Oh, Boltland again! There's a golden hound boom. Is it just me, or are they like really pumping out the Boltlands recently? All right, there we go. There's a nice white and green, baby. Let's get it. What else can he get? If I swear, if we get another one of these cards I'm looking for, oh, I'm Dunsky. This could be my greatest set ever, or the most fun I've had opening it. I just need... And you know what? Anything. First opening, let's just take something crazy. Murkrow, got a horsey. Entei Reverse. Okay, that's how you want to do it. And then you're going to finish it off with a Sanaconda as the holo card. All right. That's not too shabby, I guess. We'll take another holo right there. Then we got Tyranitar, guys. Rip the door off that one. It's a white and green, because you know that's the only way we do it around here. I reckon you should be guaranteed at least one secret rare. So now I'm questioning, like, what exactly is a secret rare? Yampa, Glam Meow, got a Corefish, Scatterbug, Bruno, and are you serious? Is that... Did we get the single strike before? Oh, thank goodness. I thought we doubled up for a minute. All right, so we got the single strike and the rapid strike. Urshifu V-Card. I wonder if this is guaranteed in every booster box, just so you're guaranteed to get the mascot of the set. You know, you get both ends of the spectrum. Very interesting, but I'm quite happy because I need that for my binder collection anyway. Rapid Strike Urshifu, and we got Single Strike earlier right there. This one is the one everyone wants, the blue one, the Rapid Strike version, but I really want him as either a Rainbow Rare, Alternate Artwork, Full Art Card, Urshifu, let's go. I pulled the Rainbow Rare Urshifu um, in Japanese, and it was quite funny. I reckon I got like five people that were desperately hitting me up, like, Ando, I got a bite off you. I never sold it, and I think it might actually still be in my collection. I don't think I sent it off to get graded just yet either, but I have got it in Japanese, so I'd love to get a Rainbow Rare Urshifu in English. That would make my day. Got a Phoebe, got a Roly Coley, Frillish as well, Esper, Blipbog, got a Silicobra, Electabuzz in the reverse. That's how I like it. Oh, sugar! Victini V Max? No way. Victini's got a V Max, guys. Spreading flames and max victory. Plus 100. That's awesome. 310 on the HP as well. They've like knocked it out the park on some of the designs of these cards. Very nice set, you know? I think it would be hard to match the hype of Vivid Voltage straight away. Like, that was such a spot-on, a really fun one that everyone loved. You can't beat Pikachu, guys. But them to come out, you know, is really solid Pokemon cards. Like, these are great choices. Tyranitar, Urshifu is a Pokemon I don't think too many people know about. So, getting him introduced into the TCG in, like, a main way where he gets his own set, fantastic. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of this set? Will you be picking it up? I'd love to know. Maybe uh, you're just going to watch a couple of my unboxings instead. I know that's quite common. Look at that Drampa. I remember, I literally, I'm so old. I'm such a grandpa. I remember when Drampa was announced. Like the first step, do you remember that? They dropped the trailer and Drampa was in there? Jeez, that was so hype. I honestly thought Drampa was going to be my new favorite Pokemon. There was a moment where I was like, Thunderous, you got to sit in the bench, buddy. I love the design of Drampa, but... Turned out he wasn't that, like, crazy, crazy cool. He's still a good-looking Pokemon, but not in the top 10. Oh, look at that. Got a Pig Knight. That's literally me after I've had a good time at the uh, Cheesecake Factory. Fan Waves. Got a Dotler. Then a Pachirisu. Then we got a Hone Edge. Horsey. Mankey as well. And then none other than a gorgeous, very, very realistic-looking Mimikyu. It almost looks like someone got Sharpie and colored his eyeballs in, doesn't it? Dummy Doll right there is one of the attacks. Gorgeous psychic type Pokemon card. Oh, that's good. I love Mimikyu, and I think Mimikyu again has a lot of fan following. Almost looks like he's underwater, but I don't think he is. Okay, so Mimikyu V, you got the back right there. And we're gonna keep rolling through this booster box. We're gonna do the whole booster box in one video because you know what? It's celebration time. It's a brand new set. Please demolish the like button if you love the brand new uh, Pokemon card set openings. You love me doing a whole booster box in one video, and it's not too long. I always worry it gets a bit boring, but if it doesn't, let me know as well. Look at that. Bullflam reverse, and a mean shell again on the Rapid Strike side with the logo. Come on. Let's go. I know we've had two Urshifus, but let's get another one. Let's get something wild. Fourth in the back. This was a white and green. I saw a bit of shine at the back as well, I think. Fire type. That's going to sum up something good for sure. Fan of waves. Yampa. Got a Murkrow, Salandit, 
Got a bell sprout. We're talking another Salander. And then Flapple, my boy. <laughs> I'm the only human that ever gets this excited over Flapple. I'm well aware. But you know what? You've got to love Appleton. You've got to love Flapple. They're everyone's favorite apple pie ingredient. So we're all good in the hood. Looks absolutely terrifying with those eyeballs. Absolutely beady as anything. Then he's just got a chunk, you know? It looks like this is a triangle your mum would cut out to give you for recess for school. And they've just plonked it on the top. Kind of weirdly realistic, that card as well, isn't it? Okay, so we're starting to see a lot of the V cards. We're starting to see a few holo cards. And we're starting to realize that, wow, that full art Tyranitar may actually be the greatest hit of the box. I mean, I really hope it's not. We do have a lot more boosters to go. But it seems like that was just the greatest thing ever. And the fact we're like, the choice of Pokemon to get, wow. You couldn't have timed that any better, could you? Lick, licky. Come on, Tyranitar, bud. Let's keep going. These boosters are jumping out of the booster box. Hey, Ando, I've got something good inside. I'll open you in a second. Little Timmy, calm down. I really pray those code cards are delivering the goods for you guys. We got a metal type right now. Ooh, these are stuck. Why is it stuck? We're going to mustard as well. Golbat, I think that mustard comes as a full art card on top of a couple of regular trainers. Chimeco, got an Onyx. Sizzlepeed. Glam Meow. Stone Journal once again. And a Center Scorch. Which, by the way, Sender Scorch just seems to be in every set ever now. It's like, what's that? You you wouldn't possibly want him as a shiny full art, would you? Why not? Put him in shining phase. You wouldn't want him as a full art card, would you? Put him as a full art card. Sender Scorch is everywhere now. I don't know why. Okay, back on the white and green codes, guys. Grumpig, Luxio, got a Spupa, got a Zubat as well. Come on, let's go for something crazy. Blipbug. Boink, reverse, and a Bronzong hitting us for that holo card. Not too shabby. By the way, we're going to come back to all of these cards on the recap. So if there is a card you're like, Ando, you didn't spend enough time on it. I didn't get to pause the video. Don't worry, on the recap, I'll give you guys all opportunities to stop the video. Grab your screenshots or whatever you need. Okay, so we got Psychic, EXP Share. Got a Dotler. Guys, I think there's something at the back. I think there's something at the back. Got a Bronzor. Relish reverse, and then, come on, that's what I'm talking about, single strike Urshifu, that's okay, I need every single type of Urshifu on our first ever box opening, beat down, and G-Max one blow, with 270 on the attack, look at that texture though, what a banger of a card, ladies and gentlemen, we got the V-Max Urshifu, that is just you were epic. I love that crimson red they're using on top of that. So I don't know about you guys, but I do get the feeling this is more of a single strike uh, booster box today. We pulled a lot more of the single strike cards. Maybe they do center it more around like one side or the other. And it's so weird, isn't it? That they have kind of divided this set into two parts. Which, like Japan doesn't really, that's pretty normal. You're like, all right, Japan just went and released two sets. And usually you're like, it didn't really have to be two sets. You could have released it as one. But in this English case, I get the feeling they could have easily released this into two booster boxes and that'd be set, I guess, because they've gone the two variants for Urshifu. But at the same token, they definitely couldn't release these apart because they are too similar. What a weird combo. So instead, they've opted to make this just one gigantic set, 163 cards plus the secret rares, but they're just going to pop logos on the cards. Very, very odd. I guess it's one of the first times they've done that. They do put logos on cards now and again, but it's weird to have logos just smacked all throughout the set and, like, this be a legitimate Sword and Shield main release as well. Got a Heatmore, Fero, Escape Rope as well, Pachirisu, Lemon. Do you think one more? Yeah, I think we should get one more here. Got a Yampa, which looks really good. Even though we're coming dangerously close to the end of today's booster box, I still believe... Maybe one more fuller. I just got a feeling. Hey, oh, no, I dropped it. Okay, that's all right. Those are the four cards. What was at the back here? We got a Spoink, Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Yampa, Lickitung, Play-Doh, and I mean Shell. Yeah, I think... Because we got only one fuller. So I do think we should get some crazy secret rare. Whether it be a rainbow rare, a gold card, or something like that. Definitely like something like that should be coming up. Now we've got three boosters on the left-hand side. Let me quickly get through the, uh, those three boosters, tidy up the set, and we'll finish it off with a bang with the final couple that are on the right-hand side. Fire type, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it going with Cheryl. Or even one of those gold energy cards, that'd be sick. Got a Spoink, 
Bronzor, Tepig, Escape Rope, and Lorantis once again. Already getting double ups of those regular rares. Put you to this all oh, white and green. That, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's all I need. That's the glimmer of hope that Uncle Ando follows at night. Firo, Escape Rope, Grumpig, Baltoy, Timber, you ready? Corfish, Capnia, Mawile, Seedra! No way. So we got the Reverse Entei and the Hollow. Dude, that is fantastic. Put you at the back. Final pack. Then I'm going to clean all this up. Oh gosh, the camera's about to run out as well. That's alright. It's just a solid green anyway. Swing it around. We got Metal Type right here. Then a Mustard once again. More Pico, Double Aid, Romantis, Remoraid, Cubone. And then... It's going to be a Jellicent as the regular rare. Alrighty, guys. Let's do it. You ready? Literally, I think that's like seven packs right there. Let's get those to the side. Put my Battle Styles booster box. We're going to put this right here. And we're going to battle our own way. Just like it says. Unlisted Leaf Energy. Stand up. Okay. So we got a Tyranitar to start things off. This is kind of like my go-to main man right now. Because he really came through clutch at the start. Can we mimic? Oh, that's it. That's it. I knew Tyranitar would come through with the goods. And I am still in belief that we should get like a rainbow rare or something. Because we got a full lot, and I think what would make this box complete would be a secret rare of some kind. And granted, there's no such thing as guaranteed pulls in an English box. Like, it's a free for all. I just reckon there should be something. That's what I'm talking about! No way! No way! That's it! I literally told you guys, and there it is! On my first ever booster box! Oh my goodness, I pulled shiny golden hound doom. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. No way. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Are you serious? There is no way I did this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the thumbs up button and share this all around the universe. I don't know what you're doing. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I was going to do a search of the gold card. If it all went drastically wrong, search of the shiny Houndoom. I pulled it on my first box as well as Tyranitar Full Art. Is this my? Is this the best first booster box opening I've ever done in the history? Of, like openings of the first set. Oh, it is gorgeous. I can't even look at it. All of that texture, it's definitely a single strike booster box. And then the dark blue hound, it's like aqua blue hound doom right there. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm like really clocking out right now. But seriously, that Tyranitar and the hound doom gold card is just something else for today's episode. Jeez, on my first box. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got six packs left. I Like what, what could possibly be in the packs? I don't know. What do you think? Like, I know we got the gold card, but the thing is, right, gold cards are randomly inserted. They're never... You're not guaranteed a gold card. Like, that's amazing. So, because that's randomly inserted, do you still think that there's a rainbow rare potential in this box? Now, I'm on the fence because rainbow rares are technically secret rares, right? Um, And secret rares, we've already got one. It's the gold card. But... It does seem like this box is really just handing out the good stuff right now. Oh my goodness, that is just bananas. I bet the ratios for like something like that are pretty scarce. So that's gnarly as. From Mantis, got a Remoraid, Spiro, Pachirisu, Orbital Reverse. Fourth to last booster. I don't care too much right now. There's another white and green. I'm just really keen to go. Oh, uh, no way. Unlisted Leaf from Battle Styles. I always have to keep an Unlisted Leaf energy from every single set. I've got one from every single set, even the first edition base set. I know, get on my level, you little Timmy. Oh, nice, Empoleon. That's one of the mascots on the side of the box. I always need the mascots, like dead set. I'm looking at the box. There it is. Empoleon v card. Nice. We definitely needed that. It's a starter as well. Um, yeah. I'm so blown away by a gold card. I don't think I, I think I could probably pull, you know, a gold Mewtwo that's not even in the set, and I'd still be like, eh. oh well, I did it. I got Tyranitar and the uh, Hound Doom. Third to last. Let's go with a Lightning type. Got a Durant as well. Got a Gear 
Hound Door. Then we got Lickitung, Horsey, Mankey, Shinx, and a Conklador. Second to last pack. Let's open you up. It's nothing. All right, so it's all down to the final pack. And you know what's so ironic about the final pack? It's a Rapid Strike Urshifu. It's the one that we've like been talking about. Glare me out. If you guys want another booster box of battle styles, let me know down below. Thumbs up the video. If this goes crazy, um, I'll definitely get another one. I mean, I'm so inspired right now. It seems like this set is on our side. I mean, can I say any more? Final pack is the white and green. Final pack is what you want. There you guys go. Got a smile ear to ear this whole time. So let's go. Fire type. EXP share. Her ugly, Spoink, Rolly Coley, Frillish, Esper, Blitbug. You ready? Wow, or Beetle. That's okay. Whatever. I don't care. Let's have a recap. Now, guys, let's have a look at a recap. If you want to open up a Battle Styles booster box, this is everything we got in today's one. I think the ratios are fantastic because, you know, if you're guaranteed a full art, the selection of Pokemon, you're not really going to go wrong. And the alternate artworks, they've perfected it. This is the set where they've really just perfected every angle of a Pokemon card set. Or Beetle, Entei, Bronzong, got a Sanaconda, and a Cherum. Boom. That's it for the Hollows. Then you go and get the V-Cards. Single Strike Urshifu. Rapid Strike Urshifu. You let me know which one you like more. Then we got Mimikyu. Flapple as well. And an Empoleon V. Then we get into the VMAXs. Not only Victini VMAX, but a single Strike Urshifu VMAX ready to pow pow pa chow. And then... I, I physically, I actually for once don't actually... Like, for sure, any set, it's always the gold card. But right now, I don't know which one I'm really in love with more. You got Tyranitar full art V card. Just amazing. I love it. And a shiny golden houndoom. What the flip is this? What is my luck? It's not even a V card. This is just shiny houndoom full art. So funny. But yeah, guys, definitely demolish the like button. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of my battle styles opening? Should I do more on the channel? I'm in love with this set. And uh, do you want to see a bind update or something? Like even after one poster box, I'm pretty confident it's going to look sick. Have a fantastic day. Definitely pick up the set. But most of all, guys, you gotta keep on gaming. Alright, guys, next Pokemon card opening. I'll see you then.